He was like, listen, you need to find out what happened to my dad, your grandfather, and you need to let this story be told. You've got to, you know, show people this injustice that happened to your grandfather and show how it affected a family, our family, a black family in Suffolk. He was arrested on the day of Pearl Harbor, just hours after the bombings, December 7th, 1941. I believe he was arrested at his restaurant because this is where he lived and worked. He was strong, he was resilient. And I'm learning about a whole nother group of people too that are a part of me, a whole community of Japanese Americans who went through this, who were wrongfully imprisoned for nothing. He was being led with his heart and he did everything that he could to really return home to my grandmother and his boys, but he couldn't, but I, could, I can feel his pain and I can feel the trauma. As I learn about him, I learn about me, right? So I, I, I'm like a puzzle being put back together. And as I learn about me, I learn about my father, the man that I knew so well, but actually I didn't know so well. So this research and this journey of discovering who Suruju Miyazaki was, is, is, is like shedding light on so much more.